Changing the CVT transmission fluid is a job often thought to be reserved for a workshop or a service centre. Well, not anymore. Using Newlon's innovative Easy Squeeze packaging and some basic hand tools, we're going to show you how to do the oil change at home, saving you hundreds of dollars, if not more. With Newlawn Easy Squeeze, changing your transmission fluid is easier, quicker, has less waste and doesn't require messy pumps. Not all CVT transmissions are the same, so please refer to your handbook or manufacturer's instructions for the fluid requirement and process. It may differ across various makes and models. Alternatively, you can access the step-by-step -step instructions for your vehicle at easysqueeze.com.au. This video shows a CVT fluid change in a 2013 Toyota Corolla. The tools you need for this DIY are a jack, jack stands, a drain pan, a half inch ratchet, or the correct size tool for your drain and fill plugs. Begin by jacking up the car and placing it on jack stands. Then place an oil pan under the drain. Remove the drain plug and allow the fluid to drain. Then, the CVT fluid level tube needs to be removed to allow the remainder of the fluid to drain. This is one of the main differences to a more conventional transmission. Try and take note of how much fluid was removed, so you know how much to expect to put back in. Reinstall the fluid level tube, and now it's time to use Easy Squeeze. Simply open the pouch, attach the filler hose, install the filler tool onto the transmission. Now push on the hose and start squeezing. It's that easy. Roll the packaging up to get all the fluid out. As you can see, it's quicker, easier, and a lot less mess than using a hand pump and bottle. Repeat the process with a new pouch until the fluid starts to overflow back out the sump via the fluid level tube. With a CVT, you now need to start the car and put the transmission in each gear so the fluid is cycled through the transmission. With your foot firmly on the brake, move the selector from park through to drive several times, remaining in each gear for a maximum of three seconds. Return the selector to park and turn the car off. Grab some more CVT fluid and top up the fluid level, filling until it overflows the level tube. Now, reinstall the sump plug. And we're done. Changing the CVT transmission fluid at home has saved you money. For more information on Newlon Easy Squeeze or any other DIY videos, head to www.easysqueeze.com.au